PT on deck and welcome back to the Forgotten City. Again, spoiler warnings, we are going in here into this game where there is a lot of twists that we are learning about and a lot of intrigue, a lot of mysteries. I'm trying to figure out, figure out the right words here to say. So, spoiler warning, you have been warned, we're going back into the Forgotten City. I think we're right where we left off. We sent off a uh, bald guy, I, I'm like blanking on his name right now, to save everybody to make him really look like the good guy here. So, I think we have, let's see, let's see which the, this is the next one we could try to figure out here. Under the bridge. Okay, let's try doing this one. It looks, I feel like we can do this now. Okay, how do we get there again? What are those two doing in there? This way. I'll probably get the loot that's like in the lake over there, right? Wait, do I still have my bow? No, oh, I. What about the bow? Ha! Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. This. Did I get the stuff from here last time? I don't remember. Take the line. Probably gonna need that. 500. Yep. We are rolling money right now. A lot of money. I can get. There. That flower. Uh, see here. This way. Since she is for the key of the upper sister. That's some lamb. What is it, citizen? Um, you know what? I'll right. be going now. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Uh, I guess I'll be going I now. I trust you can see yourself out. Centius. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Um, Joseph, and we've had this conversation before. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed. And you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? I couldn't stop it from being broken. Ah, I see. Look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Yeah, may I have the key to the upper sister? I think it's best if I hang on to it. Why? You mean to ask, why am I unwilling to trust a newly arrived non-citizen with access to our... I'm sorry, but that is simply out of the question. 
Uh, I guess I'll have to find another way in. And I'm beginning to wonder if the culprit we're looking for... Fine, I'll let it go. I'm glad to hear that. Now, uh, was there something else? Uh, what's your story? Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name. Though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the barbarians. What's a decurion? It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. Why are you still wearing As it? As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So, it seemed prudent. How did you end up here? My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now, the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic, and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. How'd you become to be a magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Very well. Uh, let's see here. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Yeah, pretty much. I'd better get back Thank to it. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Yeah, we have the Roman plaque, don't we? Where the cistern is, so I guess we could try finding these plaques. So let's go find the Egyptian one then. Jesus here. Greetings and salutations. I know, I know. You want me to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some questions. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Do you know where I might find a Greek plot? And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me? Because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? 
At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Roman. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. But my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-figured Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Uh, he cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Oh, I'll be going now then. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Hello? Hello? Have we... Put the green plaque in Do you yourself. like it? It's... May I please have it? But... If I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. Alright, what's it gonna take for you to give it to... Uh... Alright, what's it gonna take it for you to, uh, to give it to um, me? Well, if you get me out of here, then I'll... Uh, I'm talking to the magistrate about getting you out of here. Next like, time we get a new magistrate. I need to protect everyone from yeah, Galerius. Galerius will let me out. Then you could. Bye bye. Dang it. Uh... He's a little persistent somehow. Make him popular among the voters. Crap. I don't know where the people are. Uh. The priestess. Name's Rufius. But. Who are you going to vote for? No. Do you change that? So you. Welcome. Feeling all right? Uh, let's see. I wish no way out of some here. people just. That's a. Sh Never mind. Ah, oh, citizen. How come I gonna get people to vote for him? Greetings and salute. We need to be voting for. Quite, I do not enjoy. Nothing. Can I do change that? I hope. <sighs> ah, a new face. So I hear we. Well. You gonna vote for? My vote. Can I do change that? Nice. I'll be going now. So I have to get rid of Mally. All this. Greetings and salutations. She's already Alvey. here. True to Kaisar. Open this damn door. Okay, let's see here. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate. So you're Quintus. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description of this execution order from Emperor Nero. You, you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I can't prove it to you yet, but I will. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? 
Why would I... You if you don't, I'm going to kill you. The many shall suffer oh, for the sins that backfire. of the one. My bad. Uh, I really want to talk to this guy again. <sighs> Completely throw this off. Kill him here. You know what? Yeah, let's just trigger the next point of saying, hey, we'll get evidence on you. Yeah, we know, blah, 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 we're and green on like execution, blah, improve you, yeah, and you withdraw, because as soon as you win, you're going to break the golden Don't rule. Don't talk nonsense. You're going to arrest and choose for trees and send us to death by gladiatorial How? combat, because I know the future. Nonsense! I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to... Now! <sighs> okay, let's see here. Where am I going to find this evidence? I'm just going to have to raid his home. I'm sure I just focus on the plaque. Oh, hello again. I'm not supposed to be in here. Talk. Can we talk? How would you like some help getting back in Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think Maliolus is who says hmm. he is. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes. Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his trade and together. I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Oh, shoot. I just hate this. You know what? I want to force him to withdraw from withdraw. the election. Listen, I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. I've heard enough. Get out of here at once. Uh, of course, I screwed that one up. Try not to screw this up anymore. Uh oh. So you're going to get yeah yeah yeah. Ah. Uh, well, I am not. You have delusions. Of, yeah. Unlikely. You have to forget it. Don't. How? Uh, Nonsense! Me. I don't know how you. And now, 
Now, get up! Well, that backfired, and I guess none of my options. Let's try to talk to the beautiful lady thing and see what happens. Excuse me, pardon me. Hello? Talk. Talk. Back. Hmm. Don't. Just a hunch. Sound. No. I. I. But. Uh. Beautiful lady. Oh. Aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Um, why don't... why do you want wine? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry, and if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. Um, why can't you get it yourself? You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa, because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. All the questions I had. So you'll help me. I have some wine right here. Thank you. Here's the letter. Love letter in which Maliola accidentally acknowledges his name is Quinticus. Quin Quincitus? Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. Oh. According this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. Wait, how do I... Re I'm sure you can have it. Nobody else will ever know. Thank you. Now, I appreciate your, uh, discretion in this matter. I think it's best if you go now. We'll speak no more of this. All right, I'll be going now. How do I get a copy, then? Wait, do I have the letter? Or did I screw that up? Oh, no, I have it. Uh, I engage him again, or is he just done? Get out! Damn it! Stranger. Okay, so we screwed up that. Or let's see if she. We can do anything with her. Isn't the great temple majestic? Uh, can I ask you some questions uh, about escaping? I beg your pardon. Livia was right. We're in the underworld. Oh my, that is. Quite a lot to take in. 
Let's see. We don't have much. Hercules. The Hercules was able to sit. And so. I feel like we've heard this before. Uh, well, all right. Better get back to it. May four. So how do we get down there? Oh, um, that weird underground place, right? Can I get another boat? Sweet. That, that, and that. Okay. How do I get there? Shoot, I don't remember how to get down there. I think this is the right way? This looks like the right way. Nope. Uh Where's my flashlight? That's not what I wanted. Ah, crap. Flash. Where's my flashlight button? That. Where is there the flashlight? Ah. Okay, this is not the right way either. How do I get down there? Shalom, friend. I got into Meliolus' upstairs room, but there was no sign of Cecilia. Hey. Shalom. Wait, why is that? Why is that not working? Why is it just exiting me out? Shalom. Cecilia and I were in love, and then, twenty-two days ago, she went missing. Why don't you start right. from the beginning? One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's Oh, wait, oh, and I feel and like I've heard this before. And, 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 and then, all I. Okay, yeah, so they met at night and he was sneaking over. It's possible all she escaped somehow. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. And he is, you might have taken I guess her. I guess. But I. Really? I'll try that. There's I no feel sign of her there. First, the only. I remember hearing. Okay, uh, I'll see what I can do. Let's see here. Sentius. You're gonna vote for. I suppose. I'd have to be in. Fair enough. All right. How do I get people to vote for Gallius? And how do I get to the stranger down there? Sorry. Um. Was there some? All right. I'll be going now. How do I... Here... Oh, wait... Down there? I'm just genuinely lost now on how to get to there. Coming from. Oh, uh, shoot. I had the key here, right? Oh, I have to, like, shoot my way up there, don't I? Hmm. 
Okay. How do I get up there? That's probably the next question. I do not see a way to get up there. How do I cancel my... Oh. I can track this? Oh, that's a wasted arrow. I feel like I've made no progress so far. Okay, please keep guiding me. I don't know where I'm going. Where is he? Left? Straight? Thank you. Okay. And then... Here. Here. Ah. Thank you, I forgot how to crouch. Now what do we have to do? Shoot, I don't know what we have to do now. We have to talk to him. Learn about... Hmm. Oh, we know who the answer is. We know what Pluto is in charge. We're in the underworld, but what does he know? Is he Pluto? What if he's Pluto? This is a trap. I'm walking into a trap. Ah, and welcome, welcome. I'm Joseph. It's a sincere. P Tell me. I'm looking for a plaque that was removed from the Apple. Uh, you know, I'm looking for Kabash. Ah, Kabash. I know this man. He came through here some weeks ago. I will tell you everything I know. But first, the one thing I long for above all else. Let us find out. Pluto, God of the Excellent. Underworld. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Um, if I, uh, it's not easy enough. Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? I'm not sure. That's... Uh, you know, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure that's a complex question. You are an overthinker, too. We're the same, then. It is probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, Surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. It is. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable, because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Of course, that actually Wait, but whose version of right and wrong? That is an excellent question, and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? No, I don't think so. Are you sure, or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet. Hmm. 
I suppose we just haven't figured it out yet. After hundreds of years, and as many great thinkers dedicating their lives to these questions, what hope do we have if our best and brightest haven't been able to answer them? Hmm. What's your point? My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. I don't think anyone actually knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. Uh, if there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the Golden Rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs, when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I agree I'm glad one. to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I would be happy to answer your questions. What's your story? You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. You know, I'm listening. I was a quarrelsome young man. At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night, I found myself in a tavern in an argument with a drunk mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. Mm. Hades? You mean Pluto? They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto, but long before that, my people called him Hades. Wait, so you're Greek then. Why can't you return to the surface? My generation was wiped out, turned to gold, many years ago. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. Why can't you tell me your name? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. That's actually kind of fair. Where's everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning. But one by one, my friends passed away. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I'd not seen another person in many, many years. So how long have you survived Living down here? in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage the offerings they've left in the Temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation. 
So I like to imagine arguments where I argue both sides. But like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. Hmm. As you wish. You know a way out of here. <laughs> if I did, would I be living like this? That was a dumb question. Uh, what do you think about the golden Did we not discuss it at length already? Oh, I see. You're toying with me. Ha. <laughs> you know where I can find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk? You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian inscription? That's the it one. It is a cursed object, and I would be happy to give it to you if Kabash had not already taken it. All right, then tell me where I he is. I tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. So, I'm with you so far, the Greeks try to hide away. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. How did he get here? Or, uh, yeah, how did he get here? I had no idea until years later, when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. What's in there? There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key. You need it to open the gate. Okay, what kind of key is this? I'll be going now. I enjoyed our chat, but please keep my presence here a secret. We'll go. Yes. All right, I will. Okay, so just jump down and go for it. Those golden people were like reskins of the dragger. Oh my god. Okay, I want a flashlight. This is getting dark. I don't know about the flashlight. I get a shovel. Oh gosh. I feel like me messing around down here is just gonna result in the election happening. Sounds way worse than like the 
other things. Is it that way? But now I'm curious what's over here. Oh, I have the Egyptian flag pinned, right? Then what am I missing? Oh. Okay, I got lied to. My guy must have some legs on him to be able to do something like that. This ain't just a statue of a lion. Acker and beneath. Acker beneath. I wonder what that means. Any surprises? One looks like a person. Stop. Do not come any closer. Who are you? I'm Joseph. Who are you? I am Kabash. Hmm. Hey, I'm looking And for you. let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm? I'm just looking for an Egyptian plaque. Hmm. To what end? I want to return it to the obelisk. Hmm, that is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. Osiris, Lord of Silence. Okay. Thanks. Now. As for the other plaque. Wait, the fourth plaque? You know about Indeed, that? Indeed. I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. May, may I have it? You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Wait, why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. Wait, how so? I will tell you, but first, do you know what this place is? The Egyptian underworld. It has a name, and that is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story, 
And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with <sighs> Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm. <laughs> My only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. So, what's the problem with this plaque? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris' name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. Dude, you just said, you just said this is a cycle. You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. Please, please don't. Stop, I need that. You are too late. It is done. I wish you hadn't done that. I'm gonna have to go in after You would it. plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. We'll see. First I have some questions for you. If it will help you to see reason, then ask. What's your story? I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman like my father before me. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, a passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself, and he tried to bribe me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kerti, and at the time I simply thought him odd. It did not dawn on me until much later that he was THE Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. Huh. So it's all the same god. Or gods. Characters? That just sounds mean. Do you know a way out of here? This is where I belong, as caretaker of the memories of my people. If our ways are to be remembered, it falls to me. What do you think about the Golden I Rule? I think if someone is to break the Golden Rule, it will not be me. For I try to live as I always have by the command of the Goddess Ma'at. Do to the doer to make him do. As for the punishment that will come from it, I finally understand why it has long been said among my people that gold is the skin of the gods. What do you think is down there? I do not know. What could possibly lie beneath the underworld? 
Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Perhaps it is the lair of Amit, the devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. That just makes me want to go down there even is more. Is everyone so contrary where you are from? Do not even consider it. Well, Good. I'll be going now. Be gone from this place. Wait. You are planning to go down <laughs> there. I see it in your eyes. Definitely. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. I'll find my way back hmm. up. We shall see. Yeet! Nergal, the fierce one. Yeah. I feel like I said that wrong. But I got the fourth plaque now. Remember how to pull out my flashlight. Perfect. Whoa. It's Marion? Mesopotamian? Huh. Looks kind of familiar, actually. You know, hostels, I don't hear any weird growls yet. Nice to have some arrows. Some mar Whoa, wait, was it Sumerians? Looks like these Sumerians were trying to defend themselves from something. Okay. It was Marion. Okay, I was right then. At least we know what civilization we're. Oh, what the hell? Some Indiana Jones stuff right there, man. grinding sound is those statues turning their heads. Okay, but what are they trying to block themselves from? Okay, don't step on the big panel, because that might get me killed. Most likely. Ah, what the hell. Maybe I was a little too close for comfort on that one. That was stupid to me. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. There's no need for this to end in violence. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me. Why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? If something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. Look, I'm just trying to replace all the plaques taken from the desecrated office. Why? To what end? I'm hoping you'll learn me an audience with the god of the underworld. But why? What business could you have with Osiris? going to demand that he let everyone go. Blasphemous fool! You have sealed your own fate. Wait, if you attack me, you'll break the golden rule. Ha, <laughs> good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. Oh, yeah. 
the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. confused as to like where he was talking to me from okay well I guess I got a second chance now okay yeah yada 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 doesn't need first any violence get me out what trying to replace hoping and earn doubt in my respects Imbis, you. Uh, do your worst. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I got the damn flag. I'm just annoyed. something or... oh yep so we're back to the overworld That took way longer to load than it should have. Still not healing. You're fine. Can I talk to him actually? Is everyone dead? Yeah, screw it. Might as well just like take everything now. That one room, though. Oh damn it! I'm gonna die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm trying to find that one room to get the monies. Ow! Leave me alone. Ow! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! All right. That one wasn't it. Ah! I get from not remembering where it was. Okay. Maybe we should rest here for a little bit and heal this time. 
wonder if I can convince him. Probably can't, but that doesn't hurt to try, right? Can I pop him from here? I see him. Okay, guessing that's a no, I cannot snipe this man. Uh, blah. I disagree. Yeah. You Try to talk to this guy again. What? Hear me out. Just Why? Try to place all the flags. Do what? But what? Hear me an audience. Your friend about the golden rule. Us. You. All right, whatever. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Here with y'all. Cool. Oh, I never noticed that they actually look at you, like when the, when they're angry. Oh my god. That's kind of freaky, actually. I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna go now. So that means the one safe place then is this temple. For this area, essentially. Yeah, this underground, because it looks like there's no golden statues here. So let's take a breather for a second here before we try to reach out there. It's just water. I was like, oh, what the heck is that? I should have tried that. Probably try to take out the one in front of that one door that has the four grand there and arrows. Be a nice uh, set to have. Not set, but uh, what's it called? Be nice to have just that money and gear ready for the next loop. It's a shame that I feel like we're not going to be able to find out these other leads because. I guess my priority right now is just to get these plaques first. We have three of the four, so I feel really good about following this plaque lead right now that we have. I wonder if I can engage those golden uh, enemies with this bow. If I actually have a chance to fight back. Okay, load a little bit faster, please. There we go. And before we screw this up again, yep, you know, a whole new save slot for that one. Where is the hermit? I guess we can just steal everything now, huh? That. Pardon me. Oh, that does nothing to them. That uh, was dumb. Zigzag. Zigzag. Thank you. Oh, no, don't, don't body block me. No, 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 no. Oh, 
of my way. You know what? I don't like this Ha! Feel that? Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, let me go, let me go, let me go! No! Oh, that's what I get for being greedy. That's what I so get for being greedy. Sorry, I got real quiet there. I was just frustrated. Ugh. Am I gonna be a greedy bastard? Yeah, I am. Feel that? Try not to get shot by him. Zigzag. Oh, juke. Juke, juke, juke. Ooh. Probably need that diary in that one chest there. <laughs> I need to draw her out so I can steal from that other chest. Ooh. Them jukes. Oh my god. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Some cheese this. And... You know, I'm gonna cheese this too, just in case. Not that save. We need that save. The last escaping again. There we go. Whoa, okay! Ah! <laughs> That's a straight shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Uh, there's some things we need to get done. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Yulia. Yulia's dying. Oh no. All right, I can do that. Rufius is agitated. Poor guy. My uncle was a victim at rheumatism's altar, and he ended up killing himself. All right, got it. Fabia is in there. Uh, say Fabia. Alright, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. And you'll be about to How did you... Alright, of course. And I'll make sure this gets to question, him. Tresley Slaps, I am playing on the Xbox One S. That's it, Galerius. Go as fast as you can. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Go. Okay, that's enough excitement for today. Lost F-Ups today. Shout out to Tresley Snipes though. Check him out on Twitch. Great guy. Great streamer. Keep you keep you entertained as best as he can. Thank you for joining me on this chapter of the Forgotten City. Got a lot of things done. A lot of leads completed. And I guess when we come back to the Forgotten City, we're going to hunt down this Greek plaque. Thank you for joining me again. Shout out to Tresley Snipes, PT out.